in this lesson we will discuss uh, about materials so i'll press m on my keyboard so if you press m on your keyboard that's a shortcut or else uh, if you see uh, here is a material editor if you click here the same material window will come here by default when you start 3d max uh, this is what the material editor is uh, comes and this is called slate material editor but uh, my suggestion is go to modes and select compact material editor which is very easy to uh, learn and which is very uh, you know the legacy has come with the 3d max uh, people use small uh, compact material editor to look uh, around so this is what uh, you can click on modes and you can click on compact there is a two modes basically slate and compact i generally prefer uh, for freshers or you know newcomers you can click on compact editor to learn materials very quickly so now this is the material uh, palettes and if you see there is a black uh, marbles uh, uh, gray marbles so i'll just select one first and if you see there is a name called one default here you can give a name about the material what we are making say for example teapot we can give a teapot here or else we can give any kind of material like wood glass whatever we are making we can give the name over here only to recognize what we have made the material for so now i'll come down uh, the basic which is the blin there are type of material like anisotropics there metal different different kinds we use generally by default it's blin so now we'll discuss the blin if you see there are three types uh, here ambient diffuse and specular i'll just select this to realistic if you see in uh, perspective view this is shadow and the black area and the whole uh, this area of the teapot so these three i'll explain over here first ambient area ambient area is a light where doesn't uh, reach on that object and diffuse the whole object where it light falls this is a diffuse area and third is a specular what we call a highlight uh, this is somewhat it's a highlights it's showing uh, white see here it's showing white here it's showing white it's a specular it's a highlight area so always in each uh, object when we give the material there are three kind of uh, 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 ambient diffuse and specular so always we can see uh, these three um, happens in every scene of 3d so i'll just select on click on diffuse material if you click on this gray box this will appear you can choose any color if you want green select this object i'm selecting this teapot and i want to assign this material to this teapot so there is a button called assign material to selection if you see this marble is assigning to this uh, box so click this material will be get assigned and the second uh, way to do that uh, just click and drag to that object now same thing will happen so if you see when i changed the diffuse color like this ambient also changed it why if you see here, over here the black area when i'll just rotate the scene slightly this is the black area the black area doesn't mean it is uh, it is uh, we are we have changed the color the light doesn't reach over there but still it's a it's a part of that object that's why we called it as an ambient area it's not about the shadows area generally there is a slight 
confusion between the ambient and the shadow area so while explaining always i'll keep in mind uh, like to the students like see this is the ambient area where light doesn't reach and this is the shadow area also it's a black but it's a shadow of that object not an ambient area so this is what uh, the clear ex explanation of uh, diffuse and ambient and the third thing is specular specular is always uh, white if you see any object in the real world also there is always white if i select and click and i can this i'll change it it will look it will look very weird like this so now we can't see it because we have not assigned the specular level what i'll do is i'll increase the specular level see this is the specular and we can increase the specular level like this just i'll increase it now if you see over here I just double click you see this shade so now if you change this to white what generally we prefer this is the total highlight of this specular I'll just close this so now if you see when i increase the specular level there is a whole lot of area got illuminated like this got a shininess on that i'll just increase this more see now so if i increase the glossiness there will be a sharp point it's a whole uh, uh, object is uh, you know very glossy but the reflection gets very small pointed so now to check this i never depend upon this uh, viewport always we have to render it and then see how it happens so i'll select and render just right click here and render so now if you see this is what the specular level so there are uh, many things to take into account but right now we are just seeing the basic things uh, for that if you want to really uh, dig into the materials uh, we have a different course for the materials also for uvw map and uh, unwrap also so there are many aspects in material but right now we'll discuss very few things to understand the materials so if you see uh, there is a self illumination the word itself the answer that is a self illumination we can give the color click on color and we can set to any color see this is now self illuminating uh, it shows it has some light into it it's called self illumination also in some uh, different render setting we can uh, emit light from this so right now we can show till el illumination i'll just stop it opacity you can come down with the opacity of this material see if you come down with the opacity the object get transparent i'll just render it so this is the transparency we can give the transparency from the opacity we can increase it like 100 and uh, of course opacity works with maps also because we have a small option called um, here we can assign that map also so now i'll just cancel it so if you see here is a maps if you see diffuse here is a small option small box called none it's a map the same thing we can assign the map from here as well and from here as well maps diffuse none maps so i'll just go up so what is a basically map basically a map we can assign like a jpeg psg tiff we can assign to our object for example we want some kind of texture to this teapot so i'll click on diffuse and there is a lot of options we can take but right now i'll just give the bitmap i'll click on bitmap so here are the textures i'll just right click i'll say preview here are the simple textures we can say jpegs so this can be applied directly to the our objects so i'll select any of this texture 
I'll say open. Now I'll select this object. I'll say assign. Now we are not seeing the texture on our viewport. To do that, to see that, I'll just on this show shaded material in viewport. So now we can able to see this and again I want to tell you uh, never uh, depend upon this uh, viewport always we have to render it I will just off this by setting this off it doesn't mean we have not assigned it it textures are still there I will just render it so now this is what so to make the changes of the uh, regarding this textures we can go to coordinates I will just cancel this now if you see we have changed uh, now the, the parameters has been changed so now we are inside this map I will just go to parent I'll just click over here see go to parent now we are up if you go inside this diffuse map this is the options I will just on this yes so this is the tiling we can give the tiling the number of repetitions so I can say 3 3 so if you see there is a repetition of the textures the offset we can give the movement uh, like we can change the textures positions vertical U horizontal and if you don't want the tile you can just say off you can make this off so it doesn't get tiled I'll say we want tiled again there is an angle we can rotate it we can uh, move uh, horizontally vertically so this is uh, we can uh, move the angle of the textures I'll just zoom it little bit now we can say angle maybe 45 degree so this is the we can change the angle of the texture right click it will be zero again you can see uh, which image we have taken by view image we can see which image we have taken and if you want some part of uh, the texture to appear I'll just come down like this and I'll place it like this because it will be not get uh, rendered in uh, material just only this box uh, what is inside in this box get textured in this teapot so now to do that I'll say apply see the texture got has been changed so this was uh, the material lecture in next lesson we will discuss more things thank you